Oh. Hey everybody, it's Darren from Lily's Landing. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd. I'm gonna do the one cast for you today. So I came up here, uh, just look at Island right here that I'm looking at out in front of me here. Up in the trophy area. I'm gonna try a fly I haven't tried before. I think it's called a gum, gum dropper. It's pink, pink and black. Oh, the sun's kind of blocking it. There we go. Or my hand is blocking the sun. And I've got that on 6X fluorocarbon tippet. I'm just gonna put a little stick on indicator above it. I'm not sure how far I want to go yet. Probably about there. The only time I've used this is when Blake Levi and I went to Crane Creek and I caught him on this one. Let's see how that looks. Not bad. So I don't know what temperature is, but it's kind of, it's chilly. The boat ride was pretty cold coming up. Um, I haven't heard a whole lot fish of, as far as fishing reports. There were a couple guys fishing off at the dock, and as I was coming down, or walking down to the dock, they had caught a few. I think they were using just power bait, orange and chartreuse, I believe. Yeah, uh, it's been pretty nice today, actually. That was a bite. There's a little bit of an upstream wind. So I can't see in the water to see where the fish are exactly, which is what I like to do up here. So I can cast in front of them. I might spin the boat around. I got the the spot lock on, so it might the wind might cause it to spin around, I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking right into the sun. That little pink on one side and then the inside of that indicator is white so when it rolls over sometimes all you see is a white you can see fish looking at it so I know the last few days the generation schedule has flipped so instead of being off in the morning um, and then on in the afternoon, it's been on in the morning and off in the afternoon. So I waited until the water turned off before I came out here. I didn't know I was going to do the one cast until later, so. <laughs> They're biting it. I'm just not getting them. I don't think that would have been the bottom. There was a, a couple in early this morning, early, I got there at 8.30 this morning, so not too long after I got there. They had come back in and got a few more things and said they were catching them this morning. He didn't say what on, but he bought some spoons, so I'm assuming maybe spoons. <laughs> um, didn't say where he caught them either, but he did show me a picture and they caught a good one. It was probably 18, 19 inches. I don't get another bite here soon, I'm gonna have to switch to something else. Oh, this one. 
horrible. Now I'm probably set too shallow for that side, so that's the deeper side. Over here on this side, it's quite a bit shallower. I can see a little bit better on this side since I'm not looking into the sun. Not seeing a whole lot. I'm gonna scoot upstream a little bit here. So I'm gonna come up here and the fish would be stacked right here, but I guess it could be, they just don't want this, but I can't see them, so I don't know. That fish just came up right there. coming up now right there where I was fishing right where I started at fish. It was a real light bite if it was. I'm thinking it was a bot. Few fish are midging through there.
So there's a point over here off this side of that island. There's a kind of a point in Mexico, and then there's the end of the island. But right there, there's kind of a point that comes out. They usually like to sit on this edge of it. Oh, yeah, I see a few now. I'm starting to see them. One just came up right there, and I can see a couple more over there by him. That didn't go where I wanted it to. Might be close enough though. So the water hasn't been off very long, so I don't know if they're still adjusting. Usually didn't take them too long though. Sun is blinding me right there. That one's way up on top over there. Oh, yeah. They're looking at it, they're just not eating it. Alright. Only reason I say that is because I saw a couple of them swimming away from it. Alright, I'm going to change. Let's see what I got here. So this is a number 16 rusty. Let's shorten that up. 16 rusty midge. Stop swinging so you can see it. Number 16, Rusty. a little too far away from where I want to fish. Oh, 
Oh, I ate my indicator. Just to eat my fly. Not my float. It's taking me all the way up here. So I keep trying to use a spot lock to get me where I want to go, but it keeps taking me up in that same spot I was just at. This is where I want to be. <laughs> it's taking me right back up again. Two fish just ran after it real quick when I picked it up off the water. Maybe it'll hold me in it if I don't fall. So now I'm casting right up on top of the shallowest spot, so hopefully I'm not set too shallow. I thought facing into the wind was going to work to help hold this, but now it's just put the back of the boat where the fish are.
indicator again. Don't know if I have any big uglies in there or not. All that is in the back of the boat just pushed like five fish. Another one came up to my indicator. as I'm stripping it in. They want something to dump. What did I do here? White mega worm. That was turning pretty far. It's good one right next to the boat. Mega worm. I think this one's on a hundred pounds jig head. Maybe on an 80th, I don't know. Cannot remember.
Oh, goodness. Homeowner would just hold me right here. Fish went away with it, I'm not paying attention. Glad he held on to it for a minute. Not a big fish at all, just a lot of energy. It's good. and got the fly stuck in the net but rainbow he took off good I feel like what's causing me more trouble is the trolling motor not holding me just because the wind keeps changing. I don't know what that was, about six inches, something six inches just tried to come up and eat my float. Little bitty. I'm not set deep enough right there. Where are you going now?
I'm gonna make this a little deeper. It wasn't quite close enough to the bottom for what I like. Where did I put those? that one. He ate that quick. So I just missed a bite, but he ate it so quick my manicure just flashed. All I can see right now is white on manicure and it just blinked at me pretty much. So the wind's blowing me this way and the trolling motor's pushing me the same way as the wind's blowing me. So it's taking me farther off. And blow me upstream a little bit here and
I'm gonna go one more cast after this. I'll call it a day. Perfect. Hopefully, it'll stay on. It's like a little short, chubby fish. a normal size fish. Hello, Rainbow. Hey, they're fighting good. That'll do it for one cast for today. Thanks for watching. See y'all later. Now I have to freeze going back.